Hello, everyone. Welcome to our presentation. I am Do Young Kim from Robot Learning Laboratory at SNU. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about trust region based safe distributional reinforcement learning for multiple constraints. Our main problem in this paper is safe reinforcement learning. To apply reinforcement learning to real world tasks, we have to consider several constraints. For example, in autonomous driving tasks, the agent should keep in their lanes, follow the traffic signs, and not run out of fuel. To this end, we can formulate the RL problem by maximizing the objective while satisfying multiple constraints. We can define the constraint function as expectation of discounted cost sum, but for better safety, we use a risk measure, such as CVR. To estimate the risk measure-based constraints, we train distributional critics which are parameterized by theta. Then the safe RL problem can be rewritten as follows. So how can we solve the RL problem? There are lots of options, such as the Lagrangian method, but we use the trust region method since it is known to show stable training process. To use the trust region method, we can construct the following subproblem by adding KL divergence constraint, which makes the updated policy remain in the trust region. However, there are two issues when solving the subproblem. First, the feasible region of the subproblem can be empty, which means that there can be no solution of the subproblem. Second, the estimation bias of the constraints can lead to incorrect policy gradients. Especially if there are multiple constraints, the likelihood of incorrect policy gradients increases exponentially. To this end, we propose the gradient integration method, which handles the feasibility issue and the TD lambda target distribution, which helps to train the distributional critic with low biases. First, we investigate the feasibility issue. If a policy cannot satisfy constraints within the trust region, we need to project the policy onto the feasible region. To this end, we introduce the gradient integration method to get the update direction. Our method integrates the gradients of the constraints by solving the QP problem where the constraints are linearly approximated. The ellipse indicate the trust region and the dashed straight lines shows the linearized constraints. By solving the QP, we can get the gradient shown in blue and the integrated gradient are clipped to remain in the trust region. In the paper, we prove that the proposed method can make the policy feasible within a finite number of iterations. Second, we introduce the TD lambda distribution to train the distributional critic with low biases. The main point is from the concept of TD lambda method, which can trade off the bias invariance. Using the n step targets, the TD lambda loss can be calculated as here, but the loss requires infinite sum, so it is not practical. However, we found that the loss is equivalent to the quantile regression loss with a single distribution called TD lambda distribution. The PDF of the TD lambda target distribution can be calculated as follows. It looks complicated, but the point is that we can get the target distribution for each time step in a recursive way. If we have TD lambda target at time step t plus one, we can obtain the TD lambda target at time step t by using the one step target at time step t. The process requires sorting the combined distribution and restoring CDF, but its computation only depends on the number of quantiles. Through this process, we can apply TD lambda approach in the distributional RL setting. We have performed several experiments. Among them, we bring the result of the legged robot locomotion tasks. They have to follow the command velocity while satisfying three constraints, which are keeping balance, co-m height, and foot timing. We first show the result of the quadrupedal robot with a forward command. Next, we show the quadruped with a turn forward command. Here, the trained bipedal robots are shown following a forward command. And turn forward command. As you can see, the proposed method SDAC shows the most stable locomotion and travels the longest distance. We also show the training curves of the locomotion tasks in this slide. Our method, indicated in blue, shows the fastest to satisfy all constraints and highest reward sum. This is the end of the presentation. 
Thanks for listening.